What is up my RPG maker people? Today we're going to be making a weather system slash day and night system uh, all in one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and make a common event. This can be done in MV or MZ. I have done it in both. This is MV. So we're going to go down to our common events here. And I have one called night already that just sets a tent. So I'm going to slash, oh, slash, call this night and day. All right. Now I am going to delete parallel, and the switch will be night slash day as well. All right. Now I am first thing I'm going to do is I am going to say wait because I don't want it to turn to night instantly. So I'll give it a good uh nine nine hundred frames. All right, then I am going to say tent screen. We'll do it tent to sunset, and we'll have it tent in one second just for speed sake of the video, but you can choose how many seconds it takes to gradually go to sunset, to night, to dark, to morning, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have to wait 900 frames, tent screen. All right, we're going to... Copy, we're gonna have to wait 900 more frames. Copy tent screen, paste. Now, oh, now we're gonna edit this. We're gonna have it go to night. Then we are going to wait 900 more frames. Then we are going to have it go to dark. Then we are going to wait 900 more frames, and we are going to have it now go to morning. Which, for morning, I, I use uh, Sapia for now, just because I haven't messed with it yet and drug it to exactly what I think morning should be. But it's cool. And then we are going to not wait any more frames, because after morning it's going to go back to normal hold on hold on hold on we are actually going to have it wait more frames i am a uh, ridiculous copy paste we got to set it back to normal first copy paste edit and we'll do normal okay so we're waiting 900 frames going to sunset waiting 900 frames going to night waiting 900 frames Going to dark, waiting 900 frames, going to morning, Sapia, waiting 900 frames, setting to normal, and then it'll loop back up here and wait 900 frames and keep on going. All right, so that's your, that's your night and day. That's your night and day. Okay. So now we're going to go here. I have an event called initialization, and it automatically comes on and turns on all the switches I want. So I have a hunger system, so that's that's on. So we also want to add control switches night and day. We want that to be on. So it'll turn night and day on. So it'll start shuffling through there. Let me show you. Yes. All right, we're in game now. And now we just got to wait 900 frames. And it will start changing the tint of the screen. Herb, there it is. This is our sunset. Gonna herb. Herb. See our little health bars going down because we're not eating anything. And there we go. We're at nighttime now. this guy hell no we're at dark you get the point it's going to go back to normal you can have it wait as many frames as you want and have it be as long as you want to do a full day night cycle but we want to add a little bit more dynamic into this now so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to make a weather system i'm going to change the maximum to five for my common events 
and we are going to call this set weather. Trigger will be parallel and the switch will be night and day. Uh, conditional branch variable if and then we'll make a new variable called weather. Okay. If weather equals one, then, and then we go over here under if weather equals one, then set weather effect. Rain. Or we'll do that one as none. Then we'll copy this under here, we'll paste it. If weather equals two, then set weather effect to rain. And now new. Oh, not new, copy and paste one. And then we'll edit this one, this is the last one I'm doing. If weather equals three, then set weather effect, uh, I meant to edit, set weather effect, God. two, storm. And you can change the power and the intensity of the weather. All right. So now this is parallel too. It's always going to be checking if weather is at one, two, or three. And where are we getting one, two, and three? I will show you. We're putting it in our night and day system. So before we tent screen, we're also going to. All right, so we're going to go to weather here, get our control variable under control variables, and we are going to set random from one to three. Okay. So it's going to wait 900 frames, pick a random number, so you're going to have random weather. And then it is going to do that weather. I am going to skip one of these, and I am going to do it again. I'll copy it. I'm going to skip one, and then I'm going to do it again. To pick a random weather, one through three. I'm going to skip one, and then I am going to do it again. Random weather, one through three. All right. And now, since the switch is night and day, and we're already having the night and day switch turned on on our initialization, it will automatically do weather effect. So we're going to hit play and test that out. And now it has started raining. It randomly set to rain or storm. I can't remember which one looks lighter or heavier. I don't know if this is light or heavy, but it is set to either raining or storming right now. So we've done another 900 frames, so it has switched over to nighttime. Still raining. And when you hit set weather effect, and if it's one, you can also play the rain sounds. I do not have them turned on. But we skipped one. Now the weather effect is going to be set again. And now the raining has stopped. All right. That's going to be all for today. If you learned something, hit the subscribe button. Give me a like so this gets out to other people who might need to see it. Uh, other than that, have a great day. Trick Ghoul, out.